Mandatory, yeah, then you have yes. to take slaves. Yeah. Yeah. Because so, the Quran so. says so. If he was, yeah. if he did say so. But, but just just because just because you have options, does that make it okay to say you are not allowed to take slaves anymore? Is that an okay thing to do? Like to to say to uh, the Muslims living in your country, not, none of you are allowed to take slaves anymore because th those Muslims might say, "Well, hold on, the, uh, the the Prophet and his companions did." So why why are you telling me that I can't do what the Prophet and his companions did? Like I I haven't understood why why you it's need to okay understand, to you need to understand you need to understand called Maslaha of the Muslims. <laughs> In this terms of want, when the betterment, the benefits of the, the citizens of the Islamic country, um, how the leader of the state deals with them, there are lots of issues of Muslim. Mm -hmm. So the leader of the state will have to decide within the context which is the best option to take. So they are put on position to be the people's representative, um, but implementing God's law. If they introduce something totally against God's law, then they can't do that. But this is not something that God said, okay, you can't do it. In fact, God has always, Allah has always you know, encouraged the freedom of the slaves. So it's not they're going against Allah, going against Allah's laws in the Quran, is it? So if this is the benefit of the Muslims and benefit of the world around the Muslim countries, then it is a better option to take. Um, an example would be um, when uh, it comes to my mind, can I say that? Yeah, yeah. You know, but in Islam, you're allowed to eat meat. Allah says, eat what we have made for you. You're allowed to eat meat. But if you decide that you don't want to eat meat, you want to be a vegetarian, you'll be fine as well. So you're not breaking Allah's law. So these are optional things. You can take it or you can leave it. But they are not mandatory. Could the master of the Muslims say, none of you are allowed to eat meat? No. no. If he no. does that, then how is he going to implement it? Because it's not something that Allah has forbidden. It's just yeah. he's, he is, he is yeah, making a rule. Slavery is not something that Allah has forbidden. Allah has discouraged slaves. He's not forbidden it. No. So if something is discouraged and Allah says free the slaves and someone says, okay, stop slavery, are they going against God's legislation? Well, like, just, just because, um, just because, uh, uh, kind of, that, that there are kind of teachings kind of saying, oh, it is good to free slaves. But there's also lots of examples of the Prophet and his allies and his companions taking slaves. Because that was the context then. That was the context then. Yeah. So now we're in a different context where people don't deal with slavery anymore. Right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this understanding of slavery. Mm -hmm. So now I, I, I explained that, that already. already, already explained right? that. Okay. So, so if a ruler of a Muslim country says no more slavery, is he going against God's law? Between them, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure because, yeah, but, but uh, so the, the Quran doesn't say you have to be. The Quran doesn't say ride aeroplanes. Yeah. Doesn't say it really. It doesn't say anything about aeroplanes. So now, if the Muslim scholars say you can ride aeroplanes, is he going against God's law? No. How, how are you so sure yeah. about that? Uh, Quran well, doesn't say you should ride aeroplanes. Yeah, so, but then why, why, why are we sure about the meat example? No, 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 no. what meat example? Like when, he when gave you an option of a vegetarian. If you want to become a vegetarian, it's fine but, because but, it's not but, something. But you said that the uh, the ruler, the ruler of, but you said the ruler of the Muslims is able to decide, kind of as long as he is not going against. That's what I said. He didn't say that. I said that 
my, my view is gone. My, my brother, I don't like here. Okay. So, so if your ruler decides, yeah. all of you stop me, right? Yeah. Is he going against God's rule? <laughs> is he? I'm asking you, is he? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I so don't if, know somebody, if somebody's going to rebel against the ruler, they have to find proof text that you know, you're going against God's law. Say someone decides like so, that. So d does the Quran say you like you have to eat meat? The Quran doesn't say you have to eat meat. So if it doesn't say you have to eat meat, then is it allowed for the rule of the Muslims to forbid meat eating? If it was for the interest of the people and the people say yeah, fine, we elected you, we agree, then what's wrong with that? Okay. It's strange, isn't it? It, yeah, it's strange, it, 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 very yeah, unlikely yeah. to happen, but yeah. what's wrong with that? Okay, no because I, I thought I, I asked. Mad, mad cow said, disease. No, 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 no he said he says no. He had mad cow disease, and they say don't eat any more beef and anything. The government implemented that for yeah. the sure. betterment so of the society. So yes. So the ruler simply cannot introduce laws in an Islamic country ruled by Islamic laws, um, which goes against God's law. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, 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 that's against that, the obligation. Okay. You can't. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> let's go eat. <laughs> okay. Let's go eat some yeah, yeah, that, 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 Read Quran a little bit more. Do you believe in God? I, I'm agnostic. I, I, what, what might, there might. I, I think. I, I don't know whether there is a God or not. Maybe, maybe there's a God. When you say maybe there is a God or maybe there isn't, what makes you on this middle position where you're not sure? Where is the uncertainty? Well, I. I, I well, I, I might be certain that if you have a triangle, like a right angle triangle, that's this side squared plus this side squared equals that side squared. Uh, that's something I'm certain about, but I'm not certain that there is a God. So I think may maybe there's a God, maybe there isn't. If there was no God, yes. there's no creator. If there's no creator, there should be no creation. Uh, I, I, I can't say that for sure. I'm, Why not? I'm, well, because... Uh, be what, 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 if, what if there's something that has existed forever? Okay, so if something that exists forever, then that something created this universe, eventually us. Yeah, so that eventually. something is conscious and has a will and has power. It, it, might, it might not be conscious or have a will. So how did it create without being conscious? Well, like for example, um, can you have the laws of physics and like the matter in Where did the, the laws of physics come from? this um, meaning that exists always? <laughs> we, 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 we don't know where the laws are. No, let's, let's take it forward. So that thing that always existed has laws. How does it have laws? Where did the law come from? Inherent? Within <laughs> yeah, maybe it's inherent. So you have a thing that has inherent laws. That means within these laws it can operate. Yeah? So when it does things, is it doing things willingly or unwillingly? Uh, you could say, you could say unwillingly. Because? Because if it's, if it's just doing what it has to do, uh, because that's the way it behaves, that's, Why, that's its okay. laws. Why does it behave that way? I want to know, go back to the beginning of the laws. Why does it have these laws in the first place? We don't know. But yeah. why do the law, as it is within it, exist like that? Yeah. Where does it come we, from? We, yeah, we don't know where the laws might have come from. Hmm? Yeah, we, it makes more sense to say that this is more sense to believe that this is an entity that has yeah. consciousness and decides. And that's yeah. why we see all so, this organization and design coming through because of the knowledge that this thing possesses and the will and the power that it possesses. Because without power and will, nothing will succeed. Yeah, so I, I'm I'm not an atheist, so I think it is I, I don't I'm not going to say there is no God. I think it is quite likely that there is a creator who created the universe. But I'm not certain and so I think it is possible, maybe it is the case that there is simply a physical universe with physical laws and we live in this physical universe and when we die we die and we're just behaving like a, like a basically chemical chemical kind of robots almost so i i i think that could be the case but i also think it's quite likely that that uh, kind of god created the universe i actually think it's a bit more likely that a god created the universe okay. but i'm not i'm not going to i'm not going to discount the possibility that there is a uh, sort of just a physical universe that has just existed uh, according to some laws yeah. So, explore that option. If that was just the physical universe yeah. with no agent who's conscious and yeah. have a will, yeah. I mean, why 
do we see the things in our universe as it is now? I mean, it, you, you're thinking about mechanics, mechanics, mechanical universe where things just happen according to rules, and yet these rules are from where you don't know because it's Islam. You, you affirm the set of rules already in an entity, and yet these rules, how do they operate within themselves? You don't, you don't explain. You're saying it's just there. It's, it's this machine, but this machine um, had the rule already without being conscious. Yeah. You know, rules are not just something that can emerge by itself like this. You know, we, you know, we see that we operate within these rules. Okay. We are governed or constrained by these rules. But the rules, if it was there already without someone having them set, how does that make sense? Well, it's hard for us to imagine because, because in our human experience, the only things we can imagine are things that we've seen so far. So everywhere we look around, we see, like we only see, for example, your, your suitcase. Um, we, we look at a suitcase and think someone must have made the suitcase. <laughs> And we, or we might look at a, a ball bouncing and we might think that uh, someone must have told the ball to bounce according to the law of gravity because that's how humans kind of like to think and they kind of have to imagine things that way. But I don't see why we would have to assume that a universe would need to have a will like that. Like may maybe there is just a universe and it has physical laws and we've We've tried our best to find out the physical laws by like uh, looking at gravity and uh, looking at chemistry. And so we try and find out about the universe, but it might not have a reason or explanation. So the laws that it. existed, that law gave rise to everything without yeah, the, without the, any any governance, um, without any direction. It just happened. What time did it come? The, maybe. Yeah, I, I think I think it's very possible that I think I think it could be that there. That, Do you see um, any examples, anything of any kind, where no organization and intelligence and will is involved in making things and gathering things and so on this just happens so for example so for example um when when uh, planets form the way the way that we think planets form is just that uh, there's gravity and gravity pulls all this kind of matter that's floating in space together and then you kind of get a planet and you think well h how could that planet have been formed without someone telling it what to do but you know we, we've investigated and we've kind of found some uh, explanations using the laws of physics and it, I know it, it seems kind of like a reasonable explanation which uh, fits the data. So the planets were formed because of laws of physics? Yeah. yeah. So they are formed and that's it. So the planets then, then somehow they cool down and then life evolves without any explanation. Well, yeah, the, um, ex the explanation... Matter becomes alive. The, the best explanation that people have is that yeah. first you have um, simple molecules that are like proteins, um, just very simple molecules, and then a few... Proteins are not very simple it's very complex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Ami amino, amino acids then. So you, you, you happen by chance to get some nitrogen colliding with some carbon, colliding with some oxygen, colliding with some nitrogen, and you get an amino acid. And if you want to go, you have to leave. I mean, there's, there's lots of theories, but like I know that the best, like one of one of the kind of mainstream ones is that once you have some amino acids, you you get some chemicals which uh, from their structure bring in these other chemicals and like make more of the same chemical because they kind of react in a way that then you end up with two it kind of self replicates. It's a self replicating molecule. This is a fanciful theory. It doesn't happen in reality. It doesn't happen in our labs. Have we got? Have we got from the chemicals, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen that you mentioned? Do we find amino acids forming, peptides forming, polypeptides forming, uh, proteins forming in our lab? So there's there's By themselves? there's some incomplete experiments. There's like uh, one experiment where they uh, fired lots of lightning kind of through a container which contained uh, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, and they found some kind of single kind of amino acids. We know they're very unstable. Yeah, yeah. They're very they, unstable. They, they weren't, weren't so self-replicating yet. So but in our we lab, we have we made yet with our conditions yeah. set in? That they not are now yet. proteins, and from those no. proteins, no. life emerging. Not yet, but we haven't had millions of years to perform the experiments. Need 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 years. Years. Because the, the, the Earth has been around for no, 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 maybe four billion years. This is a very weak argument. If you have the right conditions, so you've got this. So you're saying the proteins themselves then start organizing itself and start making DNA and RNA. 
Yeah, that's How? the thing. Well, it's not, like, it's it's, we, we don't know the exact chemical reactions, but um, it kind of, you, you're, you're pointing out that it hasn't happened yet. It could be a very, very unlikely thing to happen. So in order to observe a very unlikely thing, you need to repeat the experiment many times or let the experiment happen for a very long amount of time in order to find that one unlikely event where it does happen. You know what? When we flap our arms long enough, I might grow wings. <laughs> yeah, but there, there isn't reason to believe that that could happen, no. Have you tried it long enough? I, I haven't. Have you observed it long enough? No. But, then how uh, can you say, this is, well, the, okay, this, is the, this is the optimistic belief that you should have. If you have to slap your wings, on your hands, on your arms, you might grow wings. So, well, like, it's, it's, why not? It, it depends. Why not? It's the question I'm asking. Why not? So, in the, term, in the question of flapping the wings, we happen to know enough about uh, sort of the physics of, um, kind of wing flapping. And we happen to know enough about uh, biology to sort of know that it's very unlikely for kind of a human being to grow ring, wings no, spontaneously. Everything is unlikely in your example. I mean, yes, it's becoming proteins yeah, no, unlikely. But, 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 but you believe they happen. So yeah, but, but, just because they're unlikely doesn't mean it's not going to happen. So I don't want your unlikely clause here. So I want you know, to know, give me a reason why... You, 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 or give me a reason why this is funny. If, if you start flapping your arms, maybe it will send signals to your brain, change the structure in your DNA, and then start making proteins to form wings. Okay, so the, what's the difference between that and chemistry? Sorry to interrupt. We are going to Lawrence. Okay. Okay. You can come now, Lawrence. I'll see you later. What's the bit? كنز الكرم مولى النعم هذه الأمم بشريعته الله